main aim of tonight's Q&A and exhibition and general get-together was to try and educate people about the brand Lecoq Sportif. The big focus for Lecoq Sportif at the moment is to go back to sport. Retro running, strong category for us and one where we can really tell people about our history. Which is the shoe that was the hardest to procure? The hardest one was finally this one. The problem was yeah. the shoe was already sold. I've told the, the seller that I have uh, maybe a little project with Le Coq Sportif and he was also a collector of Le Coq Sportif shoes and he sold me the shoes. He sent me the shoes, I brought them to Mark to, mm -hmm. to Paris and it was a gift uh, for me for the invitation. Full box, uh, like tech leaflets, original paper, everything. And he's like, these are for you. And we were like, okay, you'll photograph and give them back. And he's like, no, 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 they're for you. That is actually a rare quality, you know, someone who's so passionate about it, he actually wants to give back. So we come from having this shoe, which was an original and is, you know, started to fade a little bit now, but we were able to retro. Mm. And we came out with a really good retro in terms of shape. I mean, some things like materials and stuff you can't do anymore. Just I was, was going to say, Marcel, I mean, you know, what do you think about the, the new version? It's, in my opinion, it's almost perfect. Mm. Um, I don't know any other brand um, who makes retro shoes um, such original like, like Le Coq Sportif. I personally prefer the shape of the newer one, more flat than, than the original. I agree with that, definitely. Yeah, and it's actually said, improved on the original, yeah. which, is, which is remarkable for a retro. fascinating to see how you guys have sort of got this wonderful synergy you know within a love for a brand and with the brand having that love back um, for someone who shares that same passion it's a very rare sort of commodity has to be said and it's one of the reasons you know at CREP we're really sort of you know enthused and uh, really humbled to be working alongside yeah. you guys and people like yourself you share the same philosophy CREP is non-profit any money that is made is actually put back into putting the, the event on and making it bigger mm -hmm. we, don't, we don't pocket from it so you know and, and, and the relationship that you have by giving the shoes to Lecoq and then actually having that love it's, it's a really wonderful thing to see. Which is the one that you want to see um, next up to bat, get retro. The R800, the colorway you can see here, is the colorway that we'll see retro in March next year. Uh, it'll also run alongside this one. For the 1100, um, partly confident we're going to see someone in 2016. We're working with some really good partners on collaboration projects, exclusive colorways and stuff like that. So there's a lot more people we need to educate on the brand, but you know, we'll get there. Yeah. Um, and this is a big step for us. Yeah.